Shut up. Okay, so for those who don't know, I had an interest for school buses when I was in when I was in first to third grade. Right at four, my interest for school buses was starting to die down. And then, well, at fifth, my school bus, my love for school buses, had kind of died. But just recently, my love for school buses kind of returned. But I didn't get these buses right uh, recently. Actually, I got them like a couple of months ago. And I've been thinking of making a video about these for a long time. But uh, let's just say ADHD and laziness and procrastination do not mix well. Actually, they do mix well. And when they mix well, they make me someone who says they're going to do something. But it takes them, it takes them like months and months and months for them to do it. So yeah, I'm doing this now. Before I just shelf this along with 985 projects I have in mind. Right. So let's get to uh, the video. Which one is? All right. This is bus one. So uh, at one of the malls, me and my family go to. Uh, one of the malls have a toy store where they have toys of course now this toy store it does have some official license stuff like hot wheels uh, matchbox thomas uh, and i think mega blocks too but it kind of downsize products so yeah most of their stock is basically like um just um uh generic chinese shit it ain't bad but it's just, it's just something you won't bother. Anyway, uh, in this in this toy store, they have like a section of shelf, uh, dedicated for pullbacks, and a couple of times they have these. Basically, as I call it, when before I actually took down notes of what certain bus models and classes are, I just call it the Freightliner school bus. Well, the Freightliner Thomas built bus. Now, when I first saw these, like, this was a couple of months ago. This wasn't like when I was still in fourth grade. But anyway, uh, when I first saw these, I, I when I first saw them, I thought of getting them, but I also thought I, uh, I think I was short on money at the time, and I don't think I brought that much with me at the time. But I didn't pick them up. And as we went to the mall again, uh, the box full with these pullback FS65s weren't there anymore. But then when we went to the mall again at some point, uh, they had they had them out. Uh, they had the box out again, and of course that time I wasn't gonna pass up, so I gonna I ain't gonna pass up the offer. So I bought it, and then oh, after I bought this. Later on, on a Black Friday, I bought another bus. Because with these school bus models, the good ones like this, and uh, you're decent. Uh, yeah, I love you. I want to get you. Uh, marry me. You want to buy more of them. Because with school bus fleets, you can't just have two or one bus. You got to have multiple of them. It's a fleet. You gotta have a fleet of them. Like a fleet of engines. So yeah, I once they have that, once they have more of these uh, FS65s uh, out in the store again, I might pick up at least three more or two more if I want to save a couple of bucks. But anyway, so yeah, that's the story of how I got these. And thank goodness I got them because later on, just recently, my interest for school buses have peaked again. And with this peaked interest, now I have more, uh, now I have more, basically now I want to make this video. So anyway, uh, on to the buses. Now, these buses aren't exactly the same, there are differences to them. Not the code numbers down there, which is kind of clever that they put the uh, toy code numbers there. Because it kind of looks like a license plate. 
if it were to put it like somewhere over here or under it, then it would just look like a normal code. Yeah, that has to be a toy code. Like, no. No license plate in the United States look like that. But anyway. So, if you have seen Scuba's models before or actually know certain models out there, you, this, this will look familiar. And that's because it. It kind of is a ripoff of the Suku's um, FS-65 model, which has an opening hood, opening doors, and also has a working emergency door. Which, I did actually see a Suku uh, FS-65 model in real life when I was vigit vigiting, vi uh, visiting Chicago. But, of course, my parents didn't let me get it because I didn't bring my own money and, well, just, you know, how parents are when it comes to toys. Which, and also another reason why I bought this, it looks close to, it looks kind of like the, uh, the Suku FS65 model, which is a model I really, really wanted when I was a kid. And when I was really into school buses, because the FS65 is my favorite school bus. My second favorite is the 3800 along with the 1800. And my third favorite is the C2 safety line. I don't, anyway. So yeah. At the time, I thought this was like a ripoff of the Suku uh, FS65. But then after doing a bit of research, I discovered that uh, this company wasn't the first to rip off Suku. In fact, other comp, uh, certain uh, other companies did make a FS65 diecast model that looks similar to Suku's FS65, but of course with a couple of changes. Uh, with the Suku bus, they have like bands across the roof. Not only that, the they have opening features like the hood, which this bus doesn't, since it needs to cover the electronics for. The sound chip, which that's a that's a cool thing about this bus. It actually has sound to it. But anyway, when I say rip off, I'm not trying to be rude and say, "Oh, this is a knockoff. You must boycott at all times." It's just it's just something that you just want to point out since they're they're very similar. Of course, there are differences. Like I said, uh, the mirrors are rubbery. I assume on the Suku model, they're plastic. Of course, the hood doesn't pop open. But it does have opening doors and a rear working emergency door. I can't open it right. Actually, I can. If I just, there we go. By the way, I'm recording on my... And on my window, since if I record on my table, my computer table, then it will look like an episode of Breaking Bad. Or any movie. Look like any movie that stereotypes Mexico as a desert wasteland. Anyway, another thing about these uh, buses. Which, of course, the sound system, but that's not all. When you open the door, it actually makes an air brake sound. By the way, if you kind of glitch it. If you glitch it, you can cause the air brakes and you, go, you just go berserk and be like, <laughs> and yeah, and there's lights inside these. Let me just get the other bus. By inside, I mean literally inside the bus. And that's one thing I could tell the tell these buses apart by the lights in them. Because look, this is bus number one, the first bus I got. It got police lights for some reason. Yeah, this bus has a normal white light inside. Now, funny story. Uh, and it's back to the toy store, the, the toy store story. But uh, I was playing around with these buses in the store. Or, and I did discover the light feature. 
but I only tested it with the bus with a white light. So I assume, oh, well, all the buses have white lights in them. But when I got this bus, I didn't know that it had different lights. Now, when I saw the police light, I was like, wait a minute, didn't they have white lights? Oh, I must have mistaken. But then, when I went to the store again on Black Friday and tested this bus out, one of the buses with white lights, I then discovered, oh, wait, I'm not missing my memory. They literally have two different lights. Yeah, of course, I would prefer white lights since that's normal, knowing that's kind of brighter. Oh yeah, and of course, the, unfortunately, the buses don't have working stop signs, which would have been nice if they did, but of course, it will kind of add on to the price, and actually, no, it wouldn't. Just two pieces of plastic to probably make it uh, rubbery. But again, they might, they can't, stop signs can easily break off. Oh yeah, if you look under here, they do have a pullback fe feature, if you just pull them back. Actually, I'm, gonna, I'm doing the floor since I don't want to have these fall off, but basically. See, so yeah, I don't know what's what's going on with the pullback feet, the pullback motor on bus. This one, yeah, bus one. But um, nah, it works fine on bus two. So it's kind of a shame that on bus two the rear emergency door is kind of kind of loose. But hey, it makes up with its light, and bus one has its door is still stiff. So, yeah, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, these buses were made by, uh, Fang, uh, F um, Fang Guy, I'm not gonna bother mis uh, butchering that name, but yeah, they're made by a company in China. But, uh, interesting fact, there is an older version of these buses with a plastic roof. And I just like to mention that because I see, I seen uh, Bus Boy's uh, videos, and when he does his 150, when he does his reviews on, when he talks about uh, certain school bus models, mainly generic ones, and when he does his 155 scale uh, fleets, he'll mention that uh, with some of these pullback, with some school, with some pullback school bus models. They're kind of downgrading quality over time. Then they kind of get cheaper with more plastic. And like, they will change out the inserts of the lights to just painted. But with these buses, they just move from plastic to die cast, which is way better because with that plastic roof, that light actually bleeds bleed through the plastic. Knowing that in some lighting, uh, the yellow doesn't match with the yellow of the bus. So that's an upgrade right there. So yeah. That is that is all that's that's all what I have to say for about these uh buses. I finally made this video. Oh yeah, and I just like to bring in you probably remember this. I made a video about it. It's kinda crap, but yeah, it's out there. And when I look back on the Suku's um, 187 scale school bus. Yeah, this one is way better. I think it's actually a downscale of the 150, the 150th scale FX65. Just with the model, just with, just with the front windscreen uh, frame modified to be a bit more thicker and chunkier for uh, strength. But yeah, this is better than the actual Suku 187 scale bus since the Suku bus, it kind of looks, in some pictures, it, it just looks bad. It looks way less deep. It looks less detailed than the full scale bus. 
But, um, yeah, that's all I have to say. And thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Oh, yeah, expect another school bus joining my uh, regrowing school bus collection on my birthday, which is only in 14 days. Oh, shit.